Well, it's been a long time coming, but I finally got this uh, PM25 mill that I bought last year converted over and uh, set up for uh, doing CNC work. I had some extra FEMA 34s kind of left over uh, and wanted to repurpose those, so I ended up doing FEMA 34s on all the axes. Uh, I picked up a new vise. I, I really wanted to be able to use all of the Y travel. So what I ended up doing was mounting it uh, this way. I, I had to, the keys on the vise were originally half inch and the bed unfortunately here is 12 millimeters. So just slightly the wrong size. So I had to mill a couple new keys but everything's mounted and good and solid and I'm about ready to start cutting stuff. I've tested all the homing is working great. Um, everything I, I wired up today, wired up the e-stop. Actually on the back of this e-stop, it's pretty nice. There's, a, there's slots for three modules to go in, but only one slot is filled. So there's two extra slots and you can see that those I utilized, I ended up for eight bucks, got another module, snapped it into the back of that uh, e-stop, and now it's wired up into my machine. Um, so that's that's a nice addition. There's still a lot of cleanup left to do, a lot of cleaning up wires. I ended up, I, I had some end stops that I got on an eBay find that I was able to just print a 3D bracket here and those are really good and stout. There's LEDs built into them and uh, nice Festo end stops that I picked up on eBay for next to nothing. So uh, I ended up putting them in pretty good locations. Uh, there's the Z uh, as well. And so they're all homing and working great. I've been playing around with the, I uh, ended up swapping out the, for a Tormach TTS uh, call it system, which should be pretty nice. And I've been trying to clean up a little bit of the wiring. So I went to Home Depot and they have a this wiring conduit that just has adhesive sticky back on it and it can make corners. And I'm just starting to clean up all this wiring, routing it around and over. And that's about as far as I've got. I'm still working on <laughs> cleaning all that up and getting it up into the box and readjusting the length for this permanent home. I, I made it permanent by drilling some holes and getting some uh, bolts uh, in there and I'm I'm gonna be tightening those down and and getting it ready to do some work. So anyway, pretty pleased with how it came out. I, for the amount of uh, scratching my head that had to be done, it, it was pretty, uh, pretty simple really. The conversion wasn't too bad. Um, and I'm actually running, I've, I've ran Mach 4 in the past, I ran Mach 3, I've got an electronic smooth stepper and tried the Masso. For this build I wanted to try this new uh, Acorn from Centroid, which has been pretty awesome actually. So it comes with a 24 volt um, power supply, and which is great because all the end stops I was using were also 24 volt. and. The, uh, and this I need to clean up all the wiring is mainly here for for tests, but the uh, It's been pretty flawless there. I, I'd say that it is head and shoulders in terms of setup and in terms of just getting going I had much more success with this setup than I did with any of the previous options that I've tried so one thing that I kind of had to hack together here is this little board over here is um, making the end stops work. I think they were PNP end stops and I I can't remember if I had to anyway um, I needed some additional circuitry there to make those work the way that I wanted Which is kind of uncommon those you know you, if you had the right end stops you wouldn't need to do any adapting but um, this board up here some of you may notice is from Clearpath and it's their power distribution module so you come from the clear path uh, or from, they, they make a, Technic makes a power supply. You can feed in from that and then distribute out to several. And that's where I've got all my servos plugged in. And this is just a makeshift. I, 
this was just left over an old plastic box that I had laying around the garage and so it fit everything pretty well. I'm not going to get the Technic power supply in here obviously but um, overall I think it'll work really well. Once we get this cleaned up we'll do another video and kind of show you um, that in action. So anyway pretty pleased with the overall progress. It runs great. I've set it about 250 inches a minute and I'll do another video with it running and cutting and doing its thing. Um, right now I've got a PC set up and I've got an old TV here in the shop that I, um, I'm using for setup, but I will likely replace it with a more permanent um, wall mounted solution perhaps. I'm not sure on that yet, but having a nice big monitor like that's kind of nice as well. So. Anyway, uh, things are going pretty well. There's been very few hiccups, and the ones that I ran into, I've been able to uh, get answers pretty quickly and, and ready to put it to work. So let me know if you have any questions about the setup or any questions about what I've done here and need any help with your projects. I have learned so much from the YouTube community and excited to give back a little. So anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off for now, but if you would uh, like the video, rate, comment, subscribe, and more coming soon.